Hey guys, so today I want to explain why you can't divide by zero. We always say you can, but I want to take a look into the deep analytics of it. Now, there's two things I want to discuss. The first thing is zero divided by zero. And the second thing is a number x divided by zero, providing that, of course, x is not equal to zero. And as we've known, zero divided by zero is indeterminate. I'm going to write in D short for indeterminate, meaning there's no definite answer available. And any number like one divided by zero is undefined. I'm going to write undef. And I want to share why. This is actually a very good question. So first of all, let, let's break it down into zero divided by zero. And I'm going to do um, some examples. So like, remember in grade five that we were given this type of triangle, like DRT, like rate is distance divided by time, distance is rate times time, and time is distance divided by rate. OK. so. Let's, um, here, here's the first thing. So let's, we, you can agree with me that the zero times one is equal to zero, right? That's non-disputable. So then it's like, uh, zero is zero times one. Right? Let's just say R for any number, any real number. Okay, so zero divide zero. But according to this triangle, that must mean that zero divided by zero is equal to one. Okay, well, zero divided by zero seems like it equals one for now. Zero times two is equal to zero. So then by this logic, two should equal zero divided by zero. Okay, well, we also know that zero times three is equal to zero. So this must mean that three is zero divided by zero. There's no definite answer. You can put any number, zero times anything is zero. So the reason why zero divided by zero is indeterminate is because zero divided by zero can equal anything. And you can apply this triangle in like any sort of thing. Like, you know, five times six is uh, 30. So it's 30 times, so 30 divided by six is five. Um, let's see, 10 times 15 is 150. Um, so 150 divided by 15 is 10. Like I'm using the same triangle. And when you apply it to zero by, divided by zero, it just doesn't work. This often becomes more significant in courses like um, differential calculus, where you often see like uh, this. It's like they tell you find the find like you know f of x is x squared. Uh, no, sorry, I I made a mistake there, but it's like f of x um, is equal to x squared. And find f prime x, right? And I'm, I'm sure if, if you take in calculus, you would have experienced that, like, you know, the definition of the derivative is lim h tends to zero, f of x plus h. Minus f of x. 
over h. Okay, so this is true. Okay, now let's let's just directly plug this in and not do anything. So then um, h is zero. So then that's uh, equal to um, f of x minus f of x. over zero, which is zero divided by zero. It doesn't mean there's no derivative. It means that you can't find the derivative without doing any computations first. You'd have to plug in f of, x, which is x plus h squared minus x squared over h as h tends to zero before you could find it. And um, let's try, uh, let, 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 let's try, and then let, let's, um, that that's the way it is like generally for that it, it just shows you it's indeterminate it means you you can't find a solution this way okay now let's um talk about a number divided by zero Okay, so think of a number like um, any number divided by zero. A over zero. I don't like giving things undefined a definition, but if I'm forced to, the answer is positive negative infinity. It, it, like, and it doesn't make sense, right? Like how could something have two values? Well, as, and then, you look at it like the uh, left-hand side. Um, I'm gonna apply a limit from the left-hand side and right-hand side. So limit um, as um, x goes to zero, one over x. And let's say it goes to zero from the positive side. So it's like try one over one is uh, one, one over 0 0.5 is two, one over 0 0.25 is four, one over 0 0.001 is 100, like getting very, very, very large as you approach zero from the positive side. And that is equal to infinity. But if you were to approach it from the negative side, it would equal negative infinity. Like, so then try um, numbers, one over negative one is negative one, one over negative 0 0.5 is negative two, one over negative 0 0.125 is eight, negative eight, um, negative one over negative 0 0.001 is negative 100. It becomes very, very, very large negative number as you approach there. And when you actually hit zero, it, it, it doesn't have a certain bound, right? Now let's um let's try this. Let, let's say um let's say lim x goes to zero one over x squared. Mm -hmm. This is equal to infinity when you approach it from regardless of the left-hand side or right-hand side, it will become a very, very large number. So then you might think one over zero squared is infinity. But one over zero squared is the same thing as one over zero. And there's a contradiction. So wait, one over zero is infinity, infinity. but I thought it could also equal negative infinity. And you're, you're just stuck at a bound here. It doesn't make sense. So 
It's undefined because it doesn't have a definite value. Hence, it's undefined, bruh. So um, yeah, that's uh, just something I wanted to share with you guys. So for now, I got to jump. I'll see you guys on the other side of the bridge. Catch you next time.